What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are back with the FCX 24 K5 Blazer from FMS. Alright everybody, so as you all know, the K5 Blazer just came out about a couple weeks ago and this thing looks absolutely awesome. But what a lot of you may not know is that FMS has a lot of upgrades for this guy. I'm talking about brass upgrades, links, portal covers, hex weights. We're gonna go through it all. So first and foremost, let's go over all of the options that they have for the FCX 24. All right, so FMS, as you all know, FMS has been doing a whole bunch of great stuff with their product. The FCX 24 especially is one heck of a performer, as we all know, and it just gets better and better. FMS is knocking it out of the park with this thing. But what a lot of people don't know is that FMS has a bunch of hop-ups for this little guy. So we're gonna go over what we have here. We're gonna weigh it, we're gonna put it in this guy, and we're gonna see how this thing performs. So let's go over what we got for the FCX 24K5 Blazer. Brass steering servo, arm horn. We have steering linkage, all brass steering linkage. The rods, links, portal covers, right in here. Brass wheel weights, hex, I don't think they're extensions, but these go on the hubs. We have the front and rear axle connecting rods, the Y shape connecting rods. They are all brass and they are all offered by FMS on their website. I will have a link in the description where you can pick all these up so you can upgrade your FCX24 K5 Blazer. So what I'm gonna do now is I have my scale here and I am going to weigh the K5 Blazer as it sits. And I'm gonna weigh each and every piece that's here. So basically, I'm gonna weigh all of this together. Everything that's in the packaging, I'm just gonna weigh all of that together. And we're gonna wanna throwing it in here. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I'm planning on doing with this guy is the suspension. We're going to be adding oil to the suspension. And I have 35 weight shock oil that we're going to add. I think 35 weight is gonna be plenty for this. We're gonna add the 35 weight shock oil to the suspension here so this thing doesn't, we're gonna dampen. We're gonna dampen this thing because that's a little bit too bouncy. So we're gonna add all this weight, damp the shocks, and not just that, but we also have new tires and wheels for this guy. So let's go get this thing taken apart, put, let me slow down. Let's go weigh this thing and see what it weighs. So this thing weighs 16.32 ounces. I'm going to weigh everything else and we're gonna throw it on here and weigh it and see what the biggest difference is, what the difference is with and without the parts. Now the portal covers, see how much that weighs. I'm just gonna do everything in ounces instead of grams. This weighs 1.32 ounces. The wheel hexes, I'm gonna call them the wheel hexes. 
because I don't know what else to call them. <laughs> that weighs 1.06 ounces. And that's these guys, 1.06 ounces. All right, so these things feel like they're aluminum. They don't really seem they have much weight to it, but hey, anyways, good weight. 0.31 ounces. These black rods right here, what do they weigh at? Point, let's try that again. 0.99, the steering linkages, 0.58 and of course the brass steering servo horn 0.14 ounces this guy weighs in at 16.32 ounces and everything here together Everything here together weighs in at 4.87 ounces. Here are the wheels and tires that I got for it. And I think these wheels are going to look absolutely beautiful on this blazer. So these are the Endura W1006 wheels. Let's weigh these and see what how much more weight it's gonna put on there because I'm gonna put them on there too. So the wheels and tires, this is giving me a total weight of 3.21 ounces, the wheels and tires. These wheels look sick. The, these tires are also Endura tires. They are the T1002 tires and they look really nice, you guys. I really like the way these things look. And the wheels just look absolutely awesome, I think. I'm gonna go ahead, start taking all of this stuff apart. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, start taking everything apart over here, and we're gonna weigh this guy again, see how much it weighs, and we're gonna go out and test it and see how it does with all of this brass on it. Let's go.
right, you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little outing on the course that I had set up. It was nice that I ended up doing it at, at night before the rain came in because it's now raining. I couldn't even go outside and do this run. I couldn't even go outside and finish up this video. So I last night, uh, knew it was going to rain today. Ended up doing it last night, which was awesome. Doing it and a night, having a night run. Uh, first time doing a night run with it, with the lights working, all this thing. This thing looked absolutely great going along that course. And I'm happy with it. Guys, I am so happy with it. The way it came out, beautifully. Now, I did do something. I kind of lost reverse because I was trying to turn on the lights and instead of hitting the bind, I hit reverse and I was holding it. Then I hit bind and I figured it out. Like, oh wait, I'm hitting the wrong button. So I lost reverse, but either way, either way, this thing did absolutely great. Now all the weights that is on here, all the brass that is on here, I did state that I was gonna weigh this once I had all the brass on this thing. This, just the truck alone, without the tires. And hopefully you guys can see right there, there's the scale. So just the weights, just everything, all the brass that's on here with the truck, the battery is still in here. This thing comes in at a total now of 15 0.85 ounces now that's 15.85 ounces I had to take the tires off because with the scale what ended up happening was it was too much weight for the scale <laughs> so with these wheels and tires now I also have the hex in there this all comes up 4.14 ounces. Now, if I put all of this together, put these on top, it comes up as air. So I think this thing only goes up to 18 ounces. It's okay. So again, 15. 15.85 ounces plus another 4.14 ounces. And I have got to say, you guys, this thing with all the brass that's on here did absolutely great. Speechless. <laughs> absolutely speechless. I'm still going to tackle the boulder. I'm still going to tackle the boulder with this thing. These tires, these Endura tires and wheel combo, especially the Endura tires, nice and grippy. Hopefully you guys can hear that. These things, these tires are nice and grippy. The stock tires that come on this thing, they're nice. They are nice looking tires. I do like the fact that they are branded tires. These are Cooper Discoverers. Um, so I'm pretty sure FMS got the licensing for the name of the tires. The only thing, the one downfall about the tires is that they're not as soft a compound they're a little bit on the a little not too much not too much but they are a little bit on the hard side um it's these these enjoy tires are a lot softer than these tires uh the grip on these are a lot better than these Again, this is an S3 compound from Majora. Um, these work. They work good. But with what I was trying to do, these work great. 
So the wheels, as you guys can see there, the wheels, I had to put that on there, but the wheels on here, great. Um, back to this. So I put the weight here on the inside. I had to press it on pretty firmly uh, so it would fit on the wheel here. I'm pretty sure that they will fit flawlessly on the stock wheels, but for these wheels, they did not stick. They, they fit in there, but I had to press them in. <clears throat> now the rig. This thing looks, did absolutely great. Again, did great. We have the front portal axle covers. We have the steering links here in the front. We have the steering horn, which you guys can see. And I forget what the hell this piece is called here for the steering knuckle, knuckle, steering knuckle right there. This whole piece. So this whole front end here is all brass. Of course, you got your links. Now, now check this guy, check this out guys. <coughs> Even though I probably put it on backwards, but that's my fault. Still think this thing did great. The lower links, if you guys can check out, if you guys see here, the lower links, you guys can see that, you guys can see that it's stamped on this side here. Turn around the other way. Guess what? It's stamped on this side too. Meaning, if you look on the inside of these, it's not stamped. See, there you go. They are not stamped. So, what FMS did was the lower links, they stamped them on the right side, on the correct side, so that when you go to put them on, you have all that showing. Uh, there are other companies that have the, these lower, not these, but there are other companies that have links like this that are all stamped on one side. And when you go to put them on the vehicle, one side has the stamping showing, and then the other side is just flat. But FMS, they did it right with this thing, guys. They stamped them on the opposite sides, as you guys can see right there. They stamped them on the opposite sides so that they stamped them on the opposite sides so that when you do put them on the vehicle, you can see the design of a stamped area, which is a very, very thoughtful thing that FMS thought of. So this thing did do very well. The other thing that I also did was I dampened the shocks, front and the rears, which I believe helped it immensely, helped it immensely on that course that I have set up out there. And I want to go back out and do it again, but I had to, last night I had to actually cut that little run short. I had to cut that little run short because I ended up losing reverse yesterday. I ended up losing reverse last night because I was trying to figure out how to turn on the lights. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I hit the reverse button thinking I was going to turn on, hit, thinking I was hitting the bind button to turn on the lights. I was hitting reverse and somehow I lost reverse. So throughout that whole run at night on the course, I did not have reverse. So I would actually have to hand of God and help it along. But either way, I think this thing did absolutely great without reverse and I'm happy with it. I am absolutely happy with it, guys. This thing did very, very, very well. 
So I am absolutely happy with this thing. FMS did an off, did an awesome job with these links. Um, I'm happy with it. As you guys can see, well, I think I actually put these lower links on wrong. I think that this bend has to be up here. I'm not 100% sure. It does not bring any instructions on how to do anything, but it brings everything that you need to get these things, these lengths, every brass option on the vehicle. It brings your screws, it brings your everything, everything. It brings everything. So you don't have to buy anything separately. Everything comes with what needs to be done for this thing to work properly. So guys, if you haven't yet, definitely go pick yourself up one of these. Definitely, or two, or three. They have three different colors. The black, the orange and white, and the brown. Yeah, and the brown. They have all three available. Pick yourself up all three. These things are awesome. Um, my next thing that I might end up doing is the back. I am thinking about cutting out the back to show the rear. Um, just to have that rear window exposed. Um, that, that'll be coming up. <laughs> so, all right guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that little course that I have set up. There's gonna be more coming out on that course. It's still a little work in progress, but hey, when I can't go out to the boulder, I have that little course that I have made up. So. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Y'all have a good one. Keep our sitting.